Hey, how's it going everyone? Just want to do a quick video on a comment that I heard from um, <clears throat> End Times teacher and I just thought it would be like a good, you know, sort of mini lesson. And uh, he mentioned something about how I'm constantly changing my doctrine, you know, that I initially was teaching the mark of the beast as a microchip and then now, you know, for people who have seen my most recent post, I'm teaching that <clears throat> it's this vaccine. And so, you know, I thought it would make a good, you know, lesson and got me thinking about some thoughts and I want people to know that, I mean, I'm constantly changing my doctrine. This is nothing new. Um, I'm proud of it. You know, I think that it's it's amazing and I will always continue to change my doctrine until there's a point where the Bible <clears throat> is proven to be not true. Absolutely not true. And so um, that for me is on the order of days. It's not going to take, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. And this is what's exciting for me personally. And so, um, you know, just know that. I'm going to post another video, I think, in the next few days about... Um, how my Christ is going to be revealed, you know, next year in the sky, actually, or if he doesn't show up, then he's revealed as non-existing. And so that's, uh, and I'll, and I'll clarify that statement in that video. That's not the point of this video, but, um, it's not going to be like decades. I'm not, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And that 2023 thing, it's, I'm not, um, uh, I'm not holding to that in the sense that I'm not waiting that long either. And so, um, you know, just know that. So in a sense, I've quote changed my doctrine on that too, where I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to the end of 2023. Now I'm like, no, I'll give it to the end of next year. And so I've like tightened up my window uh, of when I'm going to teach, you know, and like advocate for the God of the Bible, the one that's speaking to me, that spirit that's, that's speaking to me. And so, um, you know, just know that. And so that's another example, you know, of how I've quote unquote changed my doctrine. And I'm, and I'm proud of that. And I'm excited by that because, um, it just puts God closer, you know, the, the one that's that's speaking to me to manifesting. And that's amazing. And so, yeah, the, the mark of the beast change, I guess, or adjustment, I would say, is um, to me, it's just being more specific. But that that's fair enough. You know, a person can can say that because, you know, um, I never really like thought, you know, like prior to like, um, you know, this coronavirus, how it would actually happen. You know, like I couldn't imagine like what would make that kind of thing happen because, you know, I obviously like everybody sees technology, you know, growing and like becoming more commonplace. And like, it doesn't surprise me that some like few people at least have already taken, you know, electronic device in their body. But I didn't in, a, in my mind have a picture of like, how would that happen? You know, like, um, what would cause that, you know, to, to, to make that happen? Like the Bible says, literally, it's going to be caused. And so um, now I think me and lots of people, it's obvious, you know, and I think even end times teacher would say, it's very clear, you know, that we're you know, in the stepping stone progression towards that uh, being fulfilled in our lifetime, you know, and not just in our lifetime, like today, you know, like it could happen literally any time. And I think in one of his comments, he, he said roughly, again, he's not specific about anything, which is his job in the next couple of years is his best prediction, you know, for the microchip. And so, you know, we're not that far off on timelines. It's not like we're talking, he's not saying like it's 20 years down the road. So uh, I'm not, um, speaking out against him on that, you know, which some Christians were like, whatever, there is no end times or uh, he keeps asking me to comment on somebody who thinks that the end times have already happened or something like that. I don't, that's like, to me, there's no point in even talking about that. It's literally like, let me talk about uh, the Kardashians. It's the same thing. <clears throat> hey, what do you think about the Kardashians? You know, it's like, that's the same opinion I have for people like the plain truth, who's a preterist, who thinks that the entire Bible has already been fulfilled. We might as well just talk about like, Kim, Chloe, and and uh, Courtney, or whatever. It's like it's the same thing, and so uh, <clears throat> that's how little I care about that kind of stuff. Again, I, I listen to people like End Times Teacher, and even like you know people like Mark Sargent and even Arwin. You know, like they're spiritual people. You know, and so even Good Servant, who I make fun of all the time, uh, they're spiritual people. You know, they have some amount of truth. They care about spiritual things, and so uh, an End Times Teacher just happens to know. A lot about the Bible, you know, I would say a majority of more than a majority of people on this earth. In fact, I could only list maybe like people that I know somewhat, not even like personally, but that I know, like maybe 30 people, you know, that know the Bible as well as he does. And so that's, that's not a, that's not a big group of, <laughs> big group of people considering to me, like the Bible is like, I mean, literally on a loudspeaker telling us like, Hey, take me seriously. And then there's 30 people that I know that know the Bible as well as end times teacher to me that again is proof that the Bible is true. But so that's why, you know, I, I listen to what he, you know, his, he says and a lot of it's like comedy and funny, but uh, you know, he's, he's a spiritual person, you know, I would just say, say just like myself. And so, but on the point of changing doctrines, 
Okay, so I, I always want to change my doctrine because again, he doesn't understand that Christ is the truth or he calls him Yahushai is the truth. That's a spirit. And so if we think of a soul in our body and then we are going towards God, we don't, we don't walk towards God. You know, like we can't like, oh, God's over there. And Christ even says this, don't look around for God. It's going to be up. And so we draw closer in proximity to God spiritually by pursuing truth and then doing the things that Christ says. This is the what he says. He says, you know, keep my laws and then you will know that people will know that, you know, you love me and I love you. And so those are the things that we need to do, you know. And so it's very difficult because uh, here in America and everywhere, obeying God's laws are not allowed because we're living in hell. That's the whole point of this design. And when Christ came here, and because he's the fulfillment of the law, this place purged him. That's the whole point of this place. And so just know that. And so, um, you know, we pursue God through truth, and that's a constant process. We're never gonna be the truth or anything like that. So we're always pursuing an infinite entity, which is Christ, you know, the spirit of Christ. And so uh, I constantly want to change my doctrine. And so the only thing that I'm never going to do is manipulate the Bible to um, get it and twist it to real life. Real life always trumps everything, you know, pardon the pun. It's like always. And so these Mandela effect people, their job is to discredit the Bible first and foremost, and then dis discredit reality. So they're like doubly evil. They're, they're like, don't trust the Bible. Don't even trust what you see. Cause like it's been altered and all that. And so, uh, and Mandela effect Emmy is 33. These people are just actors, but, um, and Satanists, but, uh, you know, they're, they're doing double duty. But for me, reality is everything. Like what I see and what I've gone through and like how I interact with people and the way they get weirded out by certain things. And obviously these buildings not moving is a very, very important clue to my reality, you know, and then my quote unquote quest to pursue truth, which will always continue, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so um, that's why um, what I'm seeing right now trumps overtakes my previous thought that the mark of the beast was a microchip until I see that that microchip initiative could be successful and I don't see it. I barely see how this vaccine is going to be successful worldwide. And the only way that that is going to be successful from what I have seen, the data points that I've gathered in the last little while, is that there has to be a worldwide deception. Because th no one believes this. <laughs> like, it's just nonsense. Like, literally no one. Like, uh, people don't talk about it. It's like, it's just like anything else in the news. No one even talks about it or cares and stuff. And like the people that are getting it, it's like, it's like they're fake excited. You know, like you can just tell, like they're not like, oh, wow, great. I'm the first person to like test this thing out and all that kind of stuff, really. And these are people who are like deep into this system, this B system. And so, no. And so I don't even see, and I, I still teach it because I, I don't think that the Bible is not true, obviously. There has to be for some fulfillment of that. And so that's the candidate, you know, right now. And, and I'll be honest, it still takes some amount of faith for me to believe that that will happen. But the only way that I know that will happen is if Christ returns and take away his elect. That's the only thing. There needs to be a, what a, a worldwide event. And so the flat earthers, the ones that are not into the Bible, will say it was like an alien or something like that. Or like that's, that's what they think will be. Because they're smart in the sense that they know that when you have lies, you have to keep making the lies bigger and bigger. Or you just tell the truth at some point. Like, oh man, okay, like... Just kidding. <laughs> it was a scam. It was a hoax. Like your money system's all, you know, screwed up. We're giving the money only to a few people. You guys are all slaves and all that. Really? <laughs> They're going to get on a loudspeaker and say that on Fox News, uh, Bloomberg Finance, really? So that's not happening. And so uh, that's uh, that's what's going to happen, you know, and that's what I'm waiting for. And then I I'm putting a timeline on that of next year because um, it doesn't make sense. You know, like America is already <clears throat> crumbling financially. And then the stuff that I teach is that America is going to get hit uh, with even more plagues, you know, in Revelation 16 by the two witnesses. And so it can't stand, you know, like it's unless that event happens first. And so it's already crumbling. Then it would just kind of sort of crumble, I guess, on its own or whatever. And so uh, my my narrative, what I believe that I received, you know, from God on the first day of this year, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's not like, again, reality trumps that. And so I'm not going to just go and <laughs> manipulate him. Oh, no, just kidding. You know, <laughs> Uh, you know, I wasn't serious about that. You know, I'll just kind of adjust this here and there. No, I didn't 1260 meant 126 or <laughs> cut the time period down and make it fit or whatever. No, my belief is that God told me on the first day of this year that two men will be standing with their feet in America for 1260 days, literally there to watch it and make it crumble, you know, to the ground, death, mourning, 
and famine, and then she shall be utterly burned with fire after they're killed and taken away. And so um, that's what I that's what I teach. And so 1260 days of wrath. And so America is barely standing now and the two witnesses are not here, according to my teaching. So how's that going to work <laughs> unless they're here soon and on the order of days? And so to me, end of next year is plenty, um, plenty of time, you know, and so that is my window um, for me to, um, you know, believe that this narrative, you know, that I teach will play out. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's plenty of time. And so, um, you know, my doctrine hasn't changed, I would say it's gotten more specific. And so I don't think end times teacher is stupid enough to say that this Corolla Vax and then the, let's say his chip thing are unrelated. That would be like, I don't even know how someone could even defend that. Okay, it's like, this will happen, then there'll be a pause, I guess. And then like some other thing that's not even related to the vaccine is the, is the mark of the beast, the microchip, how? Like, and I, uh, he said he's gonna make a video. I wanna I want hear it and I, and I won't be like rude or arrogant about it. I, I wanna hear that, that theory. And then that's, it's gonna be like the dumbest explanation because I've thought, thought it through and I'm like, I don't, I don't see it because I barely see this thing being successful now. And there's like a medical narrative behind it, you know, that a lot of people believe. And so, you know, just uh, we'll wait and see, I guess, or, or whatever. And so, but what I will not do is, um, you know, say the mark of the beast will never happen or it's not in the body or something like that. That just is blatantly like not what's in the Bible. And then, um, you know, because I take that literally, just like I take Revelation 11, literally, Revelation 16, literally, Acts 1, 10 and 11, literally, and all that kind of stuff. And so that to me is a sign of a person on God's left hand side, just like the ballers, like you tell them stuff and they won't budge, you know? And so this is why I approach the Bible like a science book, you know, like any other textbook, because once you like learn new things, you bake that into your quote unquote model, and then you get a more precise understanding of your reality. And cause God is the author of science, you know, and engineering and math and all that making models, God, that's God's idea. And so why would he not want us to do that with the Bible, you know, and as he reveals more and more. And so real people in the Bible, like actual people like Paul and all that, they say freely that they prophesy in part. They always will say that because we don't have the full picture. And so that's why these idiots like uh, GMS and stuff, will talk about 100% truth. And then <clears throat> um, end time teacher will co-sign them, you know? And so he may not say that he has 100% truth, but like he's affiliated with them. So he's indirectly co-signing that, that notion that people have 100% truth. And I want people to know that's what the B system's all about. No, no, we have the, we have the antidote. We have the vaccine. We have the, <coughs> the answer. And we have all the, you know, all the stars mapped out. We have all the, we have the 100% truth. That's the same narrative. It's a consistent narrative from God's left-hand side. They can't help it. They're programmed to be that way. And I want people to know that if it's not obvious. And so that's not a sign of people on God's right hand side. Anybody who's so like, you can just sense it when you talk to people, like they're never going to change their opinion. You're likely talking to somebody on God's left hand side. If somebody came to me with a better interpretation of what I teach, I'd want to hear it like desperately. I'll be like, please. First of all, you read that stuff. <laughs> I'll be amazed because like, like I said, 30 people um, I know roughly know the Bible as much as end times teacher. So I'll be like amazed that somebody even actually took the time to read it and form an opinion. Um, I, I'd want to hear it immediately. Cause then if it's better than mine, guess what I'm going to do <laughs> my stuff out the, out the window, or I just would like delete my channel. Cause it's like, well, just let that person teach. I just try and promote that person and then be like, go, go listen to that person, you know, and like, uh, apologize obviously. And then, um, it just, you know, just move on. It's fine. And so, but that's not the case. <laughs> and so I'm not trying to be arrogant, but my explanation and interpretation of the Bible, which I believe was received to me on the first day of this year, <clears throat> is the only one that makes sense because it's internally consistent. And then I believe it came from God, you know, being sealed on the first day. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, that's, uh, that's where I'm at, you know, with that. And so, um, we have to be humble, you know, we have to be humble and know that, um, you know, God's going to reveal more and more things to us if we're doing it for the right reasons <clears throat> and not to overwhelm us. Because imagine, <clears throat> imagine if we knew that the earth was flat when we were like five years old or 10 years old, how can we live in a system or a society? And so unless there's a way you run your own business or you have money or all that kind of stuff, or you work for the government. <laughs> and so uh, there's not that many options. And so these things are revealed to us so they don't overwhelm us. Again, imagine if we even knew what was going on right now, even like a couple of years ago and all that kind of stuff. And then we'd know that uh, the, all these other truthers who are pushing the microchip and all that, they're just liars and actors and all that kind of stuff. And so it's like, 
paced out and it can't be revealed immediately because then it won't happen. You know, just know that. The reason GMS and all these people cannot be God's elect because the end times would have happened already. Because then they would refuse to prophesy. Because they're being told to wear a mask and socially distant and eat abominable food and then God's elect will not do that. They will put their life before any of that kind of stuff. And so they, by definition, they can't be God's elect. Like, and they would never lie and say, oh, what difference does the shape of the earth make and all that kind of stuff. And so um, that's why these truths are being delivered to us by God's left hand side. And then that's just the way it is. And it has to be. And so, uh, you know, just know that. And so I constantly will refine, um, you know, my, my teachings. And I, that's, a, that's a promise, actually, in fact, that I make, you know, for the, however much longer that I teach, you know, to, to my audience that um, I will never be... <clears throat> A person who pushes a narrative or an interpretation of the Bible that is not consistent with reality. Never. Why would I? <laughs> I'd be a Mandela effector and I'd just be an idiot. And so let's see these Mandela effectors shine Mandela effects some food in front of them when there's food shortages. <laughs> let's see how that works out and put some hocus pocus Mandela effect voodoo in front of them and see how much food they can make with that theory. And then try, try and call out to the God of the Mandela effect and then see how quickly he answers <laughs> when you call out in, in times of trouble. And I look forward to those days where these idiots get starved, these stupid people. Um, talking about every other dumb topic under the sun <clears throat> when we have a, a completely evil agenda happening right before our eyes. And these dummies want to talk about the Mandela effect and then discredit the Bible and then have the gall to go and disc discredit reality <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Not be surprised if Mandela effect is a real thing, by the way, but it only affects God's left-hand side. Just like for some reason, CB19 seems to only affect bald earthers. Wow, really? <laughs> Big shocker and that kind of thing. And so... For some reason, the Mandela effect only seems to affect people who are not into the Bible, you know, and teaching it, you know, end times and all that kind of stuff. But, wow, that's, that's pretty strange, really, uh, to me. And so that's actually an exact characteristic of God's left-hand side to, to, for Satan to, and the beast system to manipulate people's minds, you know, and like, oh, make them forget things. And obviously God has given spiritual power to, to Satan over this entire earth, of course. How else can he accomplish all this kind of stuff? And so that's just one of the many things that he would be doing and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and then that would be considered actually a miracle that the left-hand side would go and worship the beast. Be like, whoa, man, like, you know, and then they literally like be like, that's an amazing thing. <laughs> and like, we worship Christ because of his sacrifice and his characteristics and his character and the fact that he was divine and sent from the most high. And then these retards will get amazed by like a rocket flying in through space or like some Mandela effect <laughs> thing or whatever, which is literally like a blip in their like AI thing or whatever. So these people are stupid. And so, you know, just know that. And so, um, you know, that's, uh, that's my stance on constantly changing my doctrine. I, I, what I've said about that thing, and I don't think anybody would ever allow this, is that that verse has to be in the skin. It has to be. <clears throat> because then we all have it. Whatever else that's out of the skin, we all have it. Like paper money, okay, everybody's got it. It's a necklace, we all have it. It's a mindset, we've been corrupted by whatever well we all have that and so whatever it is we all have it if it's like something that you hold in your hand or like a badge or something a driver's license we all have that and so everybody has a mark of the beast okay great <laughs> and so this should have been over already then and so um it's very specific you know and, and just know that um it's not the actual mark per se it's a person who is going to the beast for help as opposed to god that's the main thing and so i would just highly recommend anybody with like literally one functioning brain left Go to God. Don't listen to people. Don't even listen to this channel. Go right to God. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.